Hey, greetings and welcome back to the Car Doctor channel. I'm Tim. We're here at the repair shop of Donor Automotive in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, just got a quick tip today uh, about kind of some old school stuff. This vehicle is a 2000 uh, Chevrolet three quarter ton pickup truck. So this has the old school Vortec, the old 5.7 motor, and uh, of course has the common intake manifold gasket leak. So uh, probably the most common repair uh, next to the fuel pump that uh, we saw on these trucks back in the day uh, was the original intake manifold gasket leaking right at these water outlets that go between the cylinder heads. Um, it leaked mostly externally, uh, could leak from the front and rear and drizzle down and kind of run off the crankshaft area. Um, it also can leak internally and uh, so the original gaskets uh, had these plastic uh, kind of holders and a you know uh, silicone gasket and what would happen is the the plastic gasket holder or the frame uh, would fail and then uh, subsequent failure of the seal would allow uh, coolant to escape past it and uh, anyway uh, the tip is basically going to be about a couple things here anytime that we do these services and again this is kind of old school stuff we don't see a lot of them anymore they're still out there though but uh, I want to talk about this updated gasket set this is the MS 98000T Felpro kit which uh, Includes one valve cover gasket, the upper plenum, the throttle body, and the uh, uh, updated intake gaskets. So this is a steel frame uh, with this rubber material on it. And if you get these installed properly, that'll be the last time that you need to do these intake gaskets. Um, we do recommend going with a new set of bolts. I'm using the Felpro ES72224 uh, lower intake manifold bolt kit. And uh, uh, in this case, I am using a Dorman quick disconnect, the uh, heater hose or bypass hose uh, quick connector uh, that goes in the intake manifold. Um, they go in right, right here. Um, we almost, uh, we always replace that. It's just uh, a good idea. And you know, a lot of these older ones, as you're removing them, this kind of aluminum pot metal just breaks off. They make a special easy out tool for these that get broke off uh, for extracting that. Uh, worst case scenario, you can buy the whole lower intake uh, reasonably cost unit. Uh, but uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the uh, the CIS injection system that comes on these, the injector spider, and of course the common problem with the uh, injector spider fuel pressure re uh, regulator leaking, leaking fuel down and it would puddle up down in the lower plenum. Uh, or lower manifold, and then these old poppet valve injectors, which were super problematic. Um, and uh, anyway, they offer an update kit, and uh, we've got this one. Um, I'm recommending the AC Delco kit, and uh, for this application, it's the GM number 89060440. The kit includes the new updated spider, which turns it into multi-port injection um, comes with the uh, new spider going to MPI uh, some gaskets and uh, it also includes the replacement uh, bracket that mounts that in there um, you know uh, anytime I'm doing this job I'm gonna recommend that uh, here's the deal on this truck 40,000 miles and uh, this all came apart super sweet um, but uh, you know uh, sooner or later he's going to run into issues and uh, why not do it while you're in there 
Um, so he's getting updated manifold gaskets, he's getting updated fuel system, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace the water pump, and we've completely flushed this thing out. So we're alleviating the two most common problems with this truck, uh, aside from the fuel pump, and ensuring that he's gonna have a ton of uh, good use out of it. Look at this uh, original cap, and really, original cap and rotor, and uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's just amazing. 40,000 miles. So anyway, uh, probably not gonna see a ton of these in your shop, uh, but if you do run into one uh, and you didn't know already, it might be some helpful information for you. Um, I do appreciate you stopping by the channel. Um, we always appreciate the likes and subscriptions. Hope this has been helpful, and I uh, wish you a good luck with your repairs. All right, take care.